Uh, scrape surface heat exchanger is an industrial heat exchanger. It's an extremely versatile heat exchanger used for very viscous, thick, sticky products, large particulate products, and very challenging applications from a fouling perspective. And the best way to describe it that I've found is an analogy with a home, which is when you're cooking at home with the pan and the spatula, you know, the spatula is required because if you just apply the heat at the pan, the product's gonna burn. So the spatula is physically scraping and manipulating that product so it doesn't burn. And that's exactly what our heat exchanger does. It's a large industrial spatula, so to speak. The applications that are relevant for scrape surface technology, they're, they're just so wide and many. They span across uh, the food industry, the personal care industry, chemical, pharmaceutical, uh, protein, protein byproducts. Uh, there's so many different applications where the scrape can be used. It's extremely flexible. Gasketed plate and frame heat exchangers or tubular heat exchangers, they have no moving parts. So I'll refer to them as static heat exchangers. And we can design them, and Alpha Lavelle does an amazing job to design them to optimize them, but at some point they reach their limitation. You get to the point where you physically need to have something mechanically removing that fouling layer, and that, that's where the scrape surface heat exchanger comes in. Many times these, these systems, uh, the static systems, can result in very high pressures if the products are becoming very thick. And that's where the scrape surface heat exchanger comes in as well. The hydraulic diameter can be much larger. We can design that in such a way to minimize pressure drop. And that can have an impact overall on the production of the system, the performance of the system, and the performance of all the equipment in the system. As far as the differences between static heat exchangers and, and scrape surface in terms of product changeover, I would say that the scrape surface heat exchanger are extremely versatile and they have a very relatively low product holdup point. So when a customer needs to either finish a process and, and enter cleaning or transition from one product to the next, this is where the scrape has an advantage because as the product is transitioning from one to the next, there's very little holdup volume in there, there's very little intermixing, so they can really maximize their product gains. From a customer's perspective, if, if they're trying to maximize uptime and produce all their products, the scrape surface heat exchangers, it's a no-brainer. It's just, it's the most flexible solution on the market.